Hi, my name is Coach Rich Rogers, and welcome to the Blue Wave Podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about the Florida Swim League. The Florida Swim League was developed to give our swimmers some unique opportunities that aren't afforded to those teams who only choose to use traditional events. Here's what I mean. Many times, the traditional events can last hour upon hour upon hour upon hour, day after day. Sometimes you're sitting in the stands waiting for an hour in between events, and it really is draining on the swimmer. It's draining on the family members. It's, it's just not conducive to, to a fun atmosphere. So we took a look and said, what can we do that's a little bit out of the box? Well, that's how the Florida Swim League was, was formed. What we're doing with the Florida Swim League is we're breaking it up, and we're breaking up events based on time so we can get younger, newer swimmers into meets that are going to last an hour, an hour and a half tops where they can swim a lot of different events, get their ribbons, track their times, and not have to worry about the expense also associated with entry fees and travel for the uh, traditional meets. We're also going to offer an all-star league within the Florida Swim League. This is for children that have higher uh, time standards. They've, they've made a cut, a double B in USA Swimming time standard, and they can go to meets that are designed to be one session long. And by going to those types of meets, you don't have to spend all day and your entire wallet on, on a swim meet. And the kids still get the opportunity to swim in sanctioned events and make their cuts. Now we're also looking to do what the Florida Swim League is have an, an end of the year or the end of the season championship meet that has a limited number of people in it. This is important because they, the swimmers will have more of an opportunity to get a second swim. Second swims can sometimes unleash the magic. If you go to a swim meet that has a thousand kids in it and you're number 11 and you don't get to be in top 10, you may not get that opportunity to show what the season really was all about in terms of your best performance. So by keeping it smaller, by keeping it where we can manage how many people are there and how long it is, the swimmers will have that, that advantage as well. So Florida Swim League is part of AmericanSwimming.org, which is a major undertaking of mine to see if we can try to expand the base, grow the sport, and keep it fun. The ultimate goal is to get people involved in competitive swimming so they have life skills and have a healthy lifestyle. But who knows? We may get somebody into the sport that may make a national team one day. So I'd Doing things that are a little bit different, like the Florida Swim League, we're going to help families save money, have fun, hopefully stay in the sport, get that love of it, and we look forward to using the Florida Swim League this summer as a vehicle to get all those important goals to come to pass. So thank you for watching, and look for another episode soon. We'll see you at the pool.